Chris, how nice was it tonight just to see the team jump on an opponent like they did and really keep the foot on the throttle all night? Uh, yeah, it was nice, really nice. I mean, we haven't had one of those um, since I've been here for sure. Really good approach, which we talked about um, today. You know, this game was going to be about our approach and our, our effort and our execution early in the game. We wanted a big start. Is that a step forward, too? Because, like, approach hasn't always been there, given, you know, in certain nights, certain opponents and whatnot. So to see this, like, is that a growth point, do you think? I believe so. I believe so, 100%. Um, you know, all through the game, there were times we could have easily left, lost focus. And, of course, it's basketball. There's going to be a few possessions here and there where it gets gets loose. Um, you know, we got to only worry about ourselves. doesn't matter how things are going for the opponent or the flow of the game. We just got to keep trying to, you know, play to – Play to our standard, if we will, and um, and I thought we did that throughout uh, ninety five percent of the game tonight. John, go ahead. Hey, Chris, just in terms of um, when you see guys come in, I guess just for you know, when the game has already been decided, and I mean just to see them play the way they did, whether it was Jake, you know, some of the other guys um, who haven't played in the in the in the rotation as much. Just what do you, what do you think about you know the way that I guess Jake in particular has been able to be professional and hang in there well i think it's it's well of course speaks to jake and you know ed's another one we've talked about him um you know we what what kind of pro he's been and vet leader for us um and you know this it's just uh it's what we're trying to build here you know it's it's not about one guy and a platform for any one guy it's about trying to come in and play in within the system and make your teammates better um, and play hard. And I thought Jake did that. And, you know, I've used this example before. Uh, Jared Vanderbilt has uh, been phenomenal for us in a lot of ways. And he got that opportunity through garbage time minutes and uh, losses against Brooklyn and uh, Milwaukee. So we're looking at everything, valuing every minute on the floor. Chris Hine, go ahead. Chris, just how, how is maybe the approach of guys in terms of focus being ready at the start of games? Because that was a, a kind of a problem, uh, you know, earlier in the season and then early on after the All Star break. How, how has that changed for this group over the course of the season? Well, I think it's changed, uh, Chris, because uh, you know guys have more of an expectation that they um, that they're going to win. They're going to do the things necessary coming out of the gate to win. Uh, rather than just like here, you know, having the approach of like, here we go, here's another game. Let's see where it takes us. I think guys are just a little bit more focused. We've been, we've been stressing that we, we want better starts. Um, and the starts aren't, I told the guys tonight, starts not, is not indicative of what the scoreboard says. It's indicative of whether we're playing with maximum intensity, playing with pace, getting to the right shots, whether they fall or not, you know, that's, that's sometimes beyond our control, but, you know, are we into the ball? Are we executing the game plan right off the bat? And if those things are uh, a yes, pretty much down the board, and I, and, I, and I think they've been that for large, largely the last run of games. You mentioned, you know, you want to see chemistry with Ant, D'Lo, Cat. What specifically have you told Ant about playing with those guys and, and when to maybe hunt for, for his own and, and – you know, maybe feed to those guys offensively. Yeah, not a lot. We just, just keep telling him to do him, do him. You know, he's, he just, we don't, we don't want to overcomplicate it for anybody. I want him to be attack minded. I uh, thought he did a really good job of driving in there, making some late passes early on, um, you know, picked his spots. I think, you know, you can see that the game is slowing down a little bit for him. Um, he's starting to mix up his pace and his decision-making. Um, he's starting to understand how to manipulate a defense and get his teammate open, whether it be in the pocket. He did a nice pass the cat in the pocket tonight, finding cat popping on the perimeter. Um, but yeah, like we're not, I, we haven't told him anything uh, about fitting in necessarily other than just keep doing you. And, um, you know, he's, he's been, been great at it. When he brings the ball down, we want him to do what he's been doing. And when he's off the ball, when the ball gets to him, just be again, be yourself. Dane, go ahead. Chris, what would you say the biggest difference is in this team from the first day you got here to today? Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's a very different team in the sense that, um, you know, D'Lo's back in it and has grown so much. Um, 
I, I don't know. I think maybe guys are just a little bit more comfortable in their role. Um, maybe a little bit more comfortable understanding um, what's expected of them and uh, maybe a little bit more belief that they can win when they take the floor. You've talked, you know, going back a month about how you guys are going to pursue developing a winning culture here. And, you know, the, the idea that that would, you know, would provide value. You've obviously started to win a lot more in this time. I mean, how, how, how have you seen that development of the winning culture kind of come together um, rather than maybe just, you know, playing more guys or playing developmental guys and just really pursuing winning? Well, winning's a lot more fun, you know, so when winning's fun, everything is, it's a lot easier to, to kind of reinforce what you've been trying to sell um, because the guys can see it working. I think a little bit, they're buying in, they're doing the things that uh, make themselves and their teammates better. Um, and I think that's it. You know, it's, it's just more enjoyable. Like it sounds kind of silly, but it, it is a, uh, it's a game, you know, these guys put their heart and soul in their whole life. And at some point it's gotta be fun. And the winning is the fun part. We'll go last one to Jace. Jace, go ahead. Hey, Chris, the starting lineup that you're kind of pushed into um, by, you know, like Jaden not being here these last couple of games, it's kind of like kicked butt uh, these last two games. So I'm not saying like that becomes your new starting lineup or anything because, you know, the old one was playing well too. But yeah. when you see that, does that cause you to maybe be like, oh, maybe I should get to that five-man lineup at some point in the game? Um, do you evaluate things like that? Yeah, uh, great question. It's, it's like um... – you know, we've we found a bunch of lineups, I think, that have been really productive for us over the last uh, few weeks. And the challenge is, how do we get to all of them? Um, you know, maybe maybe Jaden coming back even sparks another lineup with Vando in there. So, um, yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting. And that's that's our job as coaches to figure that out. And, um, we got a few more games to do it, but it's been it's been fun it's been fun to watch it develop. Better to pick best good lineups than not worst bad ones, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I mean, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't think, you know, I mean, we've talked about it before, just keeping up the right blend of guys on the floor. Um, you know, and Hey, let's, we, we talk about wanting to emphasize defense, you know, a guy like Vando has needs to be rewarded for that. Awesome. Thanks coach. Appreciate your time tonight.